In this lecture, we will see what is population age distribution. Every population has different age groups. What proportion of individuals of the population are there in each age group determines the age structure of the population. The most convenient way to represent this is in the form of age pyramid, which is a graphical representation showing age groups, number of individuals in each age group and sex ratio of the population. Why is it important to study age distribution of a population? This is because it helps to understand the behavior of a population that is natality, mortality, current reproductive status of the population, future trends that is whether it is rapidly growing, stable or declining and so on. Mainly there are three age groups in any population. These are pre-reproductive, reproductive and post-reproductive. Relative duration of each age groups varies from species to species. In humans, for example, these are relatively equal in length. In the past, however, humans had a very short post-reproductive period due to low life expectancy. One interesting example is of insects like mayflies which have very long pre-reproductive period, a very short reproductive period and almost no post-reproductive period. Now let's see the types of age pyramids. There are three, age, three types of age pyramids, expanding, stable and diminishing. In an expanding population, the number of young individuals are more due to high birth rate. So it is a rapidly growing population and a pyramid shaped age structure is formed. Stable populations have more or less even distribution of age classes. Post reproductive class is however the smallest and population size remains the same. Declining or diminishing populations have more number of old individuals and the pre-reproductive group is the smallest and therefore an urn-shaped age pyramid is formed. According to Lotka, populations have a tendency to attain stable age distribution and once it is achieved, it tries to maintain it. A population that is rapidly expanding in the beginning becomes stable in mature conditions. The percentage of young individuals decrease and that of older individuals increase. This however becomes an economic consideration for the countries due to increased health care and social, social security benefits. An interesting phenomenon is seen in certain fish populations, for example, herrings. In these fishes, due to some unknown environmental conditions like La Nina, at a particular year, unusually high survival of eggs and lar larval fish takes place. And so in that year, a large year classes of the fish population is formed. When this occurs, reproduction is suppressed for the 
for the next several years. This year class is very large compared to the other age groups and dominate the population for many years.